Well, welcome guys back to the channel for another video. It's been a little while since I've done a, a new video. Been a, been a little distracted. We had a newborn, uh, well, baby born about a couple months ago. She's in here. You can see she can breathe, don't worry. And yeah, that's been taking up a lot more of my time, as you can imagine. Uh, so today we're going to attempt to do, well, two things. One, we're going to open up this Darkness of Blaze booster, uh, booster box, which this is going to be my first time ever opening up a booster box, so that'll be fun. And we're going to attempt to do it without waking up my daughter. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. She's sleeping pretty well right now. I'm not going to talk too loudly, uh, so I don't know. The audio quality is probably not going to be the greatest, especially because I got like a little fan going on because that helps her sleep. But hey, this is what we got to do in order to open up boxes uh, and open up packs nowadays. So the plan is to, open, is to get through this whole box and also uh, open up this mail day. We got a couple new things in there. But yeah, dad life, man. Dad life. I mean, just look in the back. I got my whiteboard. This was taken over by my three-year-old. I don't know if you can see. But that was supposed to be my work whiteboard. And now it's that. that I got freaking Wayne the Pool over here. I guess it's gonna be my co-host. <laughs> but yeah, let's guys, let's do this. Let's open up Darkness of Blaze. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. Like I know all the hype is on Charizard, which is cool. I'm gonna be so stoked if I get Charizard in here. But I am really what I really, really, really want to pull is actually that Houndoom V. Guys, I'm such a big fan of Houndoom. I I will probably be more excited for a Houndoom than I am for a Charizard, to be very frank. And oh my gosh. It's my first time opening up a booster box. I am both excited and nervous because, well, that was just open. <laughs> no turning back from that because no longer sealed product. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am kind of fanboying a little bit. I'm feeling like a 10-year-old again. Oh, man. Do you guys like, remember like going down to the card shop? Like, this is probably more for the 90s kids. But like going down to the card shop and seeing these booster boxes and just like grabbing a few, a few packs. Man, those were good times. All right. Now, I will say I don't have, if you've seen some of my videos, you know I don't have the fancy equipment. Or that's not really fancy equipment, but I don't have... You won't necessarily be able to see what I'm pulling. Like, you do, like, perhaps, like, on a Leon Hart and, what a, and a, these other YouTubers. But I'm going to try and show you what I get as um, as soon as I pull it. Let me see if I can adjust that a little bit. Uh, that's, maybe I put that... No, it's not really going to do it much. All right, we're just going to do the best we can. And, quite frankly, that's all we can do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is my first time actually opening up any Darkness of Blaze. So here we freaking go. All right. Oh, I'm like nervous. I don't know why I'm like nervous right now. I don't know if it's just because I'm doing this on video, but here we go. One, two, three. And not the best cut on this first pack, but let's go. All right. Energy. But how are you guys feeling about Darkness of Blaze so far, huh? Has it disappointed? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's see. We're getting down to... Autonomous, Centret. Okay. We got Qfant Q -Fant as my Reverse Hollow and Escavalier for the rare. All right. Nothing too exciting. But man, I really want that Houndoom V. Because Houndoom is just an OG. Like I'm, he's not, I know he's, he's second gen, so he's technically not like OG OG, but he's he's still pretty sweet. And I loved having Houndoom back in the day for like uh what was it like for crystal version, you know, gold, silver, crystal. Those were the days. Just had Houndoom just like destroy everyone. Right, let's see what we got. I'm trying to say how to do this because I understand now why people, you know, set it up the way they do. 
because this is not the most exciting. I prefer to be able to see what I'm looking at versus having to do this. But one day, one day I will have enough money to get a little more better equipment. We won't just be doing this on my laptop camera, but we got to do what we got to do for now. All right, and Reverse Hollows, Zwellia, Zwellis, Zwellis, still learning some of their names, and Hollow, not what I'm looking for, Star, Star Raptor, Star Raptor, I mean, I'm sure he's a cool dude, but guys, I'm looking for that charge, I'm looking for that Hound Doom, and I'm, I'll, I'll just be excited if I pull a, a VMAX card of any type, or a gold card, but here we go. Guys, what do you think about the, uh, the Pokemon market right now? It's pretty freaking crazy. I So I've been investing in cards and selling cards for the last year, uh, which has been, just been cool. Like I've just been loved, loved getting back into, into Pokemon, learning the new cards, uh, meeting new people, networking. It's been so much fun. But man, the last... 60 days, maybe 90 days. De definitely the last 30 to 60 days have been crazy in the card market. Last week I, I made, so I sold I sold about $1,000 worth of cards and it was only like 20 cards. I made about a little over 600 net profit. Man, crazy times. Crazy cool times, but crazy times. Okay, here we go. Back to the cards. Uh, I should probably show you guys what I'm getting. All right. Kabu, you know, I'm gonna just show and look. I think that's how we're going to do it. Gothia, Nicket, right, Larvitar, dude, another OG second gen, Grimer, <laughs> dude, just looks like I don't even know what he's doing. All right, Ducklet for the reverse rare, or excuse me, reverse hollow, and oh, snap. I'm, I need to not wake up my daughter. Butterfree V Max. Oh my gosh. Hyper rare card. I'm trying not to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm trying really hard not to like yell. Oh my freaking heck. Oh my goodness. This is my first time ever pulling a hyper rare card. And I have my daughter right here that I'm trying to wake up. So I'm trying to be super super just like quiet oh my gosh and that looks like it's kind of hard to tell on these uh on these hyper rares about the centering but centering looks pretty good and centering that's something i've learned over the last year because back in the 90s i feel like we didn't care about centering we, i didn't even know what the freak centering was oh my gosh guys and this is in really good condition try and look Edges look pretty sweet. Centering looks good. Oh my gosh, I gotta sleeve this bad boy up. <laughs> oh, my, I totally almost just woke up my daughter. Oh my heck, guys! Oh my gosh. I think I can say this is definitely one of the happiest moments since my daughter was born. Oh my gosh. <laughs> totally feeling like a freaking nine-year-old again. Oh, that is sweet. Oh my goodness. And Butterfree, Butterfree's an OG. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful card. Let's look at that again. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to be quiet. I can't wake up my daughter. That's not gonna be good, a good thing that happens. Oh man. Oh. Oh my gosh. And I know that's like not the like the rarest hyper rare in this set, but still that that's not a bad pull at all. And I'm, I'm a fan of Butterfree. Butterfree's an OG. Man, I remember watching this show. Ash had a Butterfree. And that was a sad day when he had to let Butterfree go. Like I know like Butterfree like was going to go get busy and you know have a family and whatnot, but that was a sad day in the, in the Pokemon show. At least I remember being sad as a, as a kid. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, that, that's a good pull. All right. Let, that was a good pack. 
let's see what we got next all right energy dead deadeny i'm not sure again i'm still learning how to say some of these guys names deadeny denny deadeny bird keeper soul rock guys i'm still kind of just fanboying over that butterfree I remember where to put my. There we go. All right. Melton. Bunnelby. Bunnelby? Bunnelby. It's kind of a trippy artwork. Almost looks like a little bit like Picasso -ish, ish. Okay. Corv Knight. All right. Reverse Hollow. Rare. And. <laughs> and a, a Corvig Knight. Corvig Knight. So I got both the hollow and reverse hollow. All right then, I. That's cool. Oh man, that is sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put these two to the side. Won't necessarily sleep them up yet. I'll just do that after. Guys, my daughter's doing really good, and so I am. Actually, really surprised to be honest, and really grateful. I think that fan is helping a lot. I'm not sure that means I'm gonna to have to like adjust audio a lot in post for this, but uh, here we go though. We just, you know, we, we just gotta do what we gotta do, right? Like in life, you want to do something, you just gotta figure it out, right? Can't make excuses, and we're not trying to make any excuses over here. Old PC. Man, I swear we had a PC that looked just like that, or very similar to that back in the day. We're, we're souring at second gen. Ooh, heat energy. But yeah, like seriously, if you want to do something, you just got to figure out a way to do it, right? You can't be making excuses. You just, you just got to figure it out. That's how life goes. You can either make excuses or you can make plans and get to work. And that's what we're trying to do. Just, you know, repping that dad life, open up cards, and uh, just, yeah, with my daughter. Bear take. All right. Okay, we're going to move these so we have more space over here. Um, and guys, we are growing this channel together little by little one subscriber at a time, just building this community. And so I want to do right by you. I normally just sell the, uh, what's it called? The online codes, like that's just what I do, make a little extra money. But if you guys want like me to show them or you want like there to be giveaways for online codes, let me know. I will totally hook you guys up. All right, I'm not loving the edges on this card, so hopefully it's not anything super good, but let's see. Okay, energy. Boom. Go. And guys, I'm like super scruffy right now because again, that dad life, I just been trying to go hard on so many different things right now. Try to work, try to pay the bills. Ooh, that's a sweet looking spike mutt, mutt, reverse hollow. And a gold, gallark, gallark. All right. Well, yeah, just trying, been doing, been trying to do a lot of stuff right now. So, haven't really shaved. And yeah, we got dishes in the sink. <laughs> just, yeah, just been having a lot going on with the new, new kid. We now have two kids and trying to make sure bills are paid and whatnot. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Sh Shinock. Shinock. <laughs> I'm going to try to say his name's right, but correct me if I'm wrong, ever wrong. Spinarak. I know Spinarak. So, you know what's crazy is how Pokemon, so Darkness of Blaze just came out last month, and we already got Champion's Path coming out in just a few weeks. 
Ooh, rare fossil, that looks cool. And a uh, hip, hippodon, hippodon. Mm -hmm. And we just recently, I mean, it was already announced before, but recently just got to look at what's coming out with Vivid Voltages, Vivid Voltage in November. Man, I, what do you guys think? Like, is that like too soon to be having new sets? Just like almost, almost back to back months. Like, I feel like Darkness of Blaze just like doesn't get much time to breathe, and then also we get Champion's Path, and then like right after getting Vivid Voltage, which. I guess it's cool. I mean, cool having new cards, but what do you guys think? You excited? You think it's too soon? Well, I guess, oh, this one's upside down. We're going to turn this right side up without looking at that card. All right, here we go. But yeah, personally think it's kind of a lot, <laughs> especially if you're trying to keep up with everything. Let me tell you. That is not helping your wallet. <laughs> Dude, oh, guys, by the way, I don't know if I can get this video up soon enough, then maybe this will help some of you. But just so you know, uh, as of today, Target Online, so Target.com just got a restock. At least this is the first time I've seen it. Restock on Burning Shadows Elite Training Boxes. So if that's your thing. If you're trying to get into Burning Shadows, I would highly suggest check that out. Like right now, like pause the video, go check it out. I don't know if they'll still be available because by the time I get this edited and up, even if I get this edited like today, I think they could be gone. But you know, Tauros, Reverse Hollow, that's pretty sweet. And Eternatus V, sweet card. That is a very, very sweet card. I was able to hold back more because, oh man, oh, this does not look like it's in the best condition, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like I've got a very weird cut on this card, which is unfortunate because that is a sweet, sweet card. Um, what I was saying though is I was able to hold myself back from yelling. Because, guys, this feels, makes me feel like a kid again, but trying to keep my daughter asleep. And in case you're wondering, maybe you're not wondering at all, like, why we don't just put her down, like, in her crib for her nap. Well, it's because right now she refuses to sleep anywhere but in here during the day. At night, she's all good, but during the day, she just doesn't want to sleep anywhere else except for in, in her wrap. Oh yeah, that is unfortunate. That is not in the best condition, those edges. But hey, maybe a local kid will want that. All right, let's see if we can get through this pack because we're already like 18 minutes in. Sorry guys, this is just going a little slower. But let's go. Let's just go. You know what? We'll have a good time. This might take an hour. This might take 30 minutes. I don't know. But we'll just have a good time while we're here. I'm just talking. That's all I'm doing. I'm just talking to open up cards. So I'm good. Man, these some of these cards are not... Don't have the best cuts, though. I'm disappointed in that. All right, here we go. Boom. 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 Oops. Let's get the card. <gasps> Cara Blast? <laughs> kind of sound, sounds like, was it Carabast? Carabast. If any Star Wars fans, any fans of, uh, oh, what's it called? Rebels, Star Wars Rebels. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Reverse Hollow Golit and uh, Volcar. Volcar Vol Volcaron? Volcarona. Volcarona. There we go. Sometimes it takes me a sec to know how to pronounce the card. All right. Here we go, though. And to whoever is watching this, thank you for joining me. <laughs> this is, again, I got back into Pokemon about a year ago, and it's been a fun ride. 
I had stopped collecting back in probably like 2003, 2004. And it's been fun getting back into this and seeing the growth of this, this whole community. It's crazy because back in my day, and maybe it is still in some some circle, but Pokemon was like straight up nerd mm -hmm. culture. Now it's it's actually kind of cooler. Tedarusa, there we go, and Lee Leapard. All right, gonna move some of these. Put those right there. But yeah, something. I think I'm going to need to figure out is how to talk for half an hour. I'll probably open up these cards because I feel like I can talk better while I'm actually talking to someone else. But as of right now, I'm just kind of talking to myself. And yeah, <laughs> but here we go. Here we go, guys. And. I'll just talk about life. Life is good. Oh, actually, I do have an announcement. Reverse Hollow, Gothitelli, 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 and Sendiscorch V. Guys, oh my gosh, like, I'm going to have to do these without my daughter <laughs> because, man, I just want to, like, yell pulling some of these cards. Oh my freaking heck. That is a sweet, sweet looking card. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty like in pretty good condition. Much better cut than that Eternatus. Uh, maybe a little bit of edge imperfection. But man, sweet, sweet card. Oh man, I am loving this booster box so far. And I don't even know if we're halfway through. And we already got some sweet pulls. I need to sleeve this dude up. My goodness. Uh, we're getting some real good cards in here. Okay, well, we gotta move along. You got stuff to do, I got stuff to do. And I don't know how long this baby is going to stay asleep for. <laughs> At least while I'm talking. Guys, this has been a super cool experience, though. Open up my first booster box. It, it has literally, oh man, definitely some edge wear on this rare. But this has definitely been, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the booster box has just been shit. <laughs> has just been sitting on my shelf for about three weeks, two weeks. And okay, cling clang. Hey, that's a reverse hollow. And hey, Ampharos. Not hollow, but Ampharos honestly is one of my favorite Pokemon. Houndoom, Ampharos. Those guys were almost always in my uh, in my roster in the games. Cause man, Ampharos just like super underrated in my opinion. Well, this thing though, oh yeah, that booster box. This booster box has just been sitting on my shelf for, like almost yeah, like three weeks, just because I haven't had a chance to. Uh, yeah, to sit down and actually do this with work and with children and whatnot. Um, Cause I actually, I attempt, I did a little test about two weeks ago. It is the same exact kind of scenario. I opened up a few packs uh, with my daughter and it did not go well. She woke up after like the second pack. And so, yeah, I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna work, but today this is kind of seriously out of the blue. I was like, you know what? I really want to open this pack. Reverse Hollow and Talonflame. But yeah, I just really want to open this, this uh, box today. And I had actually attempted this. 
maybe an hour ago, and it did not work out. As soon as I sat down, she woke up. So we had to rock her back to sleep. Well, actually, first made sure she was all fed. Whoa. That is a very strange cut. All right. Again, I'm not loving some of the cuts on these cards. I almost don't want to get a Houndoom or a Charizard just because how weird some of these cuts have been. All right. Boom. Boom. But yeah, but she's been doing really good. And so maybe we'll be able to do more of these. Hopefully not too many though, because quite frankly, this kind of hurts my back to try and sit up and have her in here because I have to sit in kind of a weird position right now so that she stays asleep. All right, and uh, nothing that great. Uh, big old squirrel. Greedent. I'm sorry, I, I had to respect Greedent more. There might be some Greedent out there. Ah, open. Uh, oh, I was saying this earlier about an announcement. So, for those of you who have been following the channel or following the podcast, you know I have a podcast called Perspective with Ulysses Balansatagi. I added that last part simply because there were like a thousand other podcasts called Perspective. And so just so people could find my podcast. Um, so I love talking about perspective, mental health, people's journeys, people's stories, interviewing people, like talking about all that stuff. Uh, but I also love Pokemon. And so I am, I have to say, hey, that's a reverse hollow rare. And, ooh, all right. We got a full art rose. Very nice. And looks in pretty good condition. Edges are pretty clean. That is a nice pickup. I will take it. Man, pulling some fire in this booster box. I would say that's a... How much did I pay for this? Like 90 bucks? Something like that? So far, it's been a good 90 bucks well spent. I think I'm going to have to buy more booster boxes. Because it seems to be getting more hits in these than I've ever gotten. Just doing straight-up packs. Um, what was I saying though? Oh yeah, so with Pokemon and oh yeah, since I've been uh, getting into Pokemon a whole lot more, I have decided to rebrand my podcast so that it is Perspective and Pokemon, or it might be Pokemon and Perspective, I'm not quite sure, but we are going to be doing exactly a mix of well, the two things I'm most passionate about, which is perspective, you know, mental health, stories, all that stuff, and Pokemon, where some days we'll be talking about, there'll be, there'll be some episodes where we're talking about people's stories, talking about perspective, and Dracozolt. Cool. Uh, talking about perspective, uh, mental health, all that stuff. And then some days we'll be talking about Pokemon. Pokemon investing, Pokemon collecting, Pokemon trading, uh, games, culture, toys, all that good stuff. Um, and some days I think we'll end up talking about a mix of both. <laughs> we'll talk Pokemon cards and mental health, Pokemon cards and, you know, taking care of yourself. Which I actually think I might be doing a little more, even just in these card openings, just because it's something I really enjoy. And I think it's something that we need to talk about more, you know, mental health, exercising, staying out of debt, all that good stuff that just just doesn't get talked about a whole ton. 
at least not in, especially like in these kind of scenarios, these kind of situations. Ooh, there we go. Flygon and the evil. All right. Because, yeah, man, it's, oh, that's just what I'm thinking. Or that's what we're going to be doing. So perspective and Pokemon, look out for that. I'll be changing my podcast to that name. We already have like 10 episodes of just perspective, you know, talking about people's stories and talk, getting people's insights. But yeah, this is going to be fun. We got uh, already a few guests lined up, including if you're familiar with any of these people, Nunez and Omash. And we are working on getting a good solid lineup of other guests because it's going to be just fun. The Pokemon community is just so much fun. People are so generous with their time and knowledge. Star, Starvia, and Mail Metal. Okay, it'll be good times. Because that, honestly, I would. Yeah, that's just why I love talking about the most. Just trying to bring people's perspective, you know, changing. Helping people improve their perspective so they just live a happier life. Because a lot about a lot of how we, I guess, go through life or how happy we are, has a lot to do with how we're viewing life. You know, our perspective. Not so much what's actually going on. Because I mean, you can. It's so crazy how you can have two people going through the exact same thing, and yet one of them is happy and the other one is like miserable and hating life. What's the difference? It's, well, the perspective, how they're viewing the situation, how they're interpreting it. I thought the last card was up the reverse hollow. No, this is a reverse hollow. And mill talk. No, or uh, mill tick, mill tick, excuse me. Hollow, I will take it. All right. So yeah, perspective. And we're going to talk about Pokemon because yes, Pokemon is just so much fun. It's so nostalgic. And something I'm, I'm really loving about what I'm seeing lately is just seeing like, I don't know what you'd call it, Pokemon families. Like kids getting into it, uh, husbands and wives, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, brothers and sisters, just like, oh, was that something? I don't know if that was something. But people was getting into it as a family. That's just been super cool to see. Like kids getting into that. It's just, it's so cool. This community, this whole culture is just so fun. And Granbull. And Granbull, second gen. Never a huge fan. Like even in the games, I don't think I even ever really evolved to my snubble into a grand bowl, because <laughs> I don't think I ever actually used my snubble. But that's something that I want to do as well in the future, is get into some of the newer games, because I, I stopped after Crystal, after Crystal version, and just haven't gotten back into them. But I will do that in the future, because it's just, again, fun times. All right, here we go. I need that Hound Doom V. Give me that Hound Doom V. No. Vanillax. Some ice cream. Do we have any Vanillax fans in here? I'm just curious if there's like someone who just like they're like Vanillax, that's my that's my dog. That's though that is my go-to Pokemon. <laughs> so, it just seems to me like a Pokemon just kind of looked at some ice cream one day, like, hmm, I bet that could be a Pokemon. I'm sorry if I offended someone, but those are my thoughts on that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, Duck Trio. Man, I remember how when some of these Pokemon, like Duck Trio, was like a rare card. Now, like sometimes some of these OGs who are rare are reverse hollow. Galarian Darman Dar Darminitan Darminitan Rare and Ooh. Uh, oh man, I 
I struggle with this guy, how to pronounce this guy's name. D DC do I? DC do I? Oh, hollow. I actually, I'm not super familiar with like some of the newer ones, but I do know DC do I is like, yeah, he's my dog. Oh man, edges are not in the best condition. Again, that is unfortunate. So this has been a good box, but not good cuts on the cards. Which, yeah, I am disappointed in that. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. Still got like 10 packs left. And I don't remember what I was talking about. But life, last two months, have definitely been different. Having two Ks at Flappy, Reverse Hollow Flappy, all right. And Seriously, trying so hard not to talk very loudly right now because I'm pretty sure I'd wake up my daughter. Although this might be daughter waking up worthy. Oh my, oh my gosh, no freaking way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. So something you guys also have to realize is that I have never, never pulled a Charizard in my entire life. I bought them, but I've never pulled a Charizard in my entire life. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at this, trying to determine. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'll have to take a better look at it later. It just looked pretty clean. Oh. All right, there we go. Yeah, it just looked clean. Oh, I gotta sleep this bad boy up like right now. And I also just heard my other daughter come out of her room. She's supposed to be taking a nap. So it might not be this daughter that interrupts this this uh, booster box break. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that bad boy. Uh, and I know like pull, pull rates on this card has, hasn't been like, like they've been decent. Like they're not, it's not like super, super rare to come across, but still, oh my gosh. I think this card is going for like $150 on eBay right now. Oh my gosh. And man, I'm debating whether I actually would want to sell this or just keep it or get it graded. Because that looks like it's in pretty good condition. Oh, okay, I'm going to look at that later. Charizard V Max. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys got places to be. I'm gonna continue this, and I'll I'll, I'll drool over that Charizard later, guys. If, if we get if we can pull a Hound V out of the remainder of these packs, game over. I this is just like I I I, I just might 
die and go to heaven. Like <laughs> this has been such a good box. Again, cuts not the greatest. So some of these cards probably won't be PSA 10, unfortunately, but still just pulling them in general. Great, great box. Or maybe we can get a gold card. I don't know. Those are pretty cool too, but oh my gosh, we just pull a Charizard. I don't even know completely how to react to that. And then Drakovich, Drakovich, Drakovich. Cool. Oh. Man, this is how Pokemon gets you. Like, you pull something really cool like that, and then you go and buy like 20 more boxes, and then you don't pull like anything close to it. But still, oh man, this, this has been quite the adventure. Oh man, and doing, man, maybe I should bring my daughter with me more on these pack openings. Oh, that one's flipped over. I'm gonna flip it without looking. All right. Yeah, maybe my daughter's just good luck. Maybe she should be around for everything. I was just talking about Pokemon families, right? My three-year-old loves Pokemon. Ooh, reverse hollow Lugia. I will take it. I'm a fan of Lugia for sure. Uh, edges. Man, these cuts are killing me. Yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh. Charizard V and the VMAX in one freaking set or one booster box. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm trying so hard not to be like jumping up and down. Oh my freaking heck. Oh, this is definitely. Uh, I don't think this is a PSA 10. Just kind of looking at the edges. Maybe a nine, which is still not a bad. Uh, still won't be a bad grade if I decide to get this graded, which I probably will. Uh, man, though. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Guys, I'm just... <laughs> okay, I gotta pull this bad boy back out. Like, I have never pulled a Charizard in my life. And today, I've pulled two. <sighs> that is insanity. Oh my gosh. But... <sighs> and that Lugia is really cool too. I... I'm gonna put this guy to the side because... Definitely one of my favorite cards to pull. Oh, guys, I... What? What? Oh, I... My mind is blown. My mind is blown. That is definitely the best easily one of the best $80 purchase, $90 purchases I've made, at least on Pokemon cards. Oh, man. Oops. I'm still kind of in disbelief. I don't even know how I'm... How can we top that? Seriously, how can we top that? Unless we pull, like, some gold or another Hyper Rare or a Houndoom. We pull a Houndoom and... I will be quite happy. This is pin. Oh. Someone might be waking up. And. What? Guys. A scissor V Max? What? What is going on?
Am I dreaming? What in the world? How am I pulling this much fire from one box? Oh my freaking heck. Let me just take a look at this. Edges look decent. I mean, it's pretty decent. I mean, it looks in pretty good shape. This one actually might be a pretty good cut. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my freaking fire. I keep thinking, like, man, how can this get better? And it just keeps getting better. Like, I, I still want the Houndoom V. But even if we don't get it, this has been such a fire box. Like, I, I can't complain, like, whatsoever. Before... Well, someone's definitely waking up, so we may or may not finish this. And Lugia, not hollow. Still a cool card. Pretty cool artwork. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we usually say holy sea rap when my daughter's around. We don't want the little three-year-old around saying holy crap. But oh my gosh, guys, this is... Insane. <laughs> Some crazy pulls. I'm loving it. I gotta see if we can get through these last packs before both my daughters barnstorm in here. Parasect Reverse Hollow. Oh, I think I saw a little something. Sat. Salamence V. That's a nice card. Salamence. That's newer dragon. Heard he's really good. Haven't delve. Uh, yeah, haven't gotten too much into like what he is and what he does and kind of the background and story and whatnot, but. Still, sweet card. It's another V. I will take it. Guys, this is, this is like first booster box magic or something. Because, like I was saying before, this is my first time ever opening up a booster box. And I don't know if I'm like gonna be feeling like super entitled now because of all the good pulls I'm getting like if I'm just going to expect such fire every single time because I've, I've watched some videos I don't think people pull this this many uh super good cards like heatran he heatran heatran it's a hollow but yeah guys I am can we pull more fire can we do that is that allowed? Okay, guys, I'm gonna need your positive vibes, your positive energy. Let's see if we can get that Houndoom V. Like, seriously, this booster box will be like go down in history, in my mind at least, as the greatest booster box in the world if we can pull a Houndoom V. At least as far as Darkness of Blaze is concerned. Come on, Houndoom. Oh, Gall Gallispsopod. Reverse Hollow is nice. And Clink Clang. Clink Clink Clang. <laughs> That's cool. But you're not Houndoom. I'm sorry. Uh, open up. All right. 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Houndoom. I just look pretty good on this, so please be a Houndoom. Houndoom. Where are you, Houndoom? Where have you gone to? <laughs> well, wiggly tough. Gotta move some of these cards. I'm running out of room over here. Down to our last five packs. Five packs. Come on, Houndoom. Be in here. Open up. <laughs> That's all I want right now, just a hound dude. I'll be thrilled with all the other stuff, all the other fire that is in this set, but hound doom. Can I find my hound doom? Right. I'm gonna have to go back and look at some of these cards because right now I'm just kind of trying to fly through. Oop, I am dropping cards on the floor. Maybe I should go a little slower. First hollow and no. I'm just like I'm not going to acknowledge the rare anymore unless it's a hound doom. She did not like the idea. Four. All right, let's do this. Hound doom. Hound doom. I totally hear my daughter upstairs and no. Not quite sure what she's saying, but I think she's saying she's down with her nap. <laughs> Go upstairs and get her. Or maybe she can come down here. She can join us for the last pulse. All right, here we go. Go. Come on. Hound Doom. Don't drop any cards. Don't drop the cards. First hollow and. No. Muck. up real soon and we're down to our last two cards and ah agron hollow cool card but you're not houndoom so i'm not too excited about you last pack guys i need all i'm like all your positive vibes right now because if i don't get a houndoom in this this pack or in this uh this box i might have to buy another box and my wife might not like that <laughs> All right, cool. this card, turn that over around. I don't know why these cards are some the, the rares are sometimes like upside down. I don't know if that's intentional or what's up with that, but all right, here we go. Here we go. Houndoom, 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 <laughs> Houndoom. Do the chat with me. Houndoom, 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 Houndoom. Are you in here? A Mew V. Okay, it's not a Houndoom. But still, very solid pull. Mew V. Sweet, sweet card. Man, I will take that. Did not pull my Hound Doom, but still. Mew V. Guys, this was a freaking fire box. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know how to properly express how awesome this box is. Oh my gosh. Let me pull some of these over here. Uh, let's just look at some of the, uh, just the V's and V maxes for now. We pulled some really cool other cards, but just want to show 
just, oh my gosh. I pulled some sweet hollow rares, but guys, what? What? <laughs> what? I think I gotta go. I think that's my call to go, but oh, and there's my other daughter. But seriously, oh my gosh. Charizard, two Charizards, the V, the V Max, Mew V. Scissor V Max, Salamence V, Rose Full Art, Eternatus V, Scorch V. What a box, guys. What a box. Oh my gosh. We will keep opening packs. We will keep hey. looking for that Houndoom V. Hey, Celeste. She's right here. Oh. Wanna say hi real quick? Hi. We will try and find it. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. And join the join the journey. We're we're talking Pokemon. We're discovering Pokemon. We're pulling packs. We're talking about games, culture. We're talking about perspective. Hi. All that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> this is Celeste. Subscribe. Say subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys.